and we're back with another episode of help video um, this time we're looking at our exponents uh, we, we learned in class today that exponents actually have two parts um, it has what's called the base and the base is the big number at the bottom and at top it has the exponent and that's the small number up top usually with the base and exponent it's going to look something like this I have 4 which is my base and my exponent which is let's say 3 my base is 4, my exponent is 3. And what this is saying here is it's saying that I have this number, my base, multiplied by itself that many times. So this one here, I have my base, which is 4. It's multiplied by itself how many times? 3 times here. So 4 times 4 times 4. All right, and there we go. Now 4 times 4, 4 times 4 is 16. And I bring down this one times 4, and 16 times 4 is 64. So there you have it. 4 to the power of 3 is equal to 64. Okay, and that's it. That's exponents in a nutshell. Now, if we look up um, from our exit ticket, we can see we have 3 squared. 3 squared, which means my base is 3, my exponent is 2. So I have my base 1 two times. So I have three, two times, three times three. And three times three is equal to nine. We have to make sure that we know that three squared is the same as three times three, which is also the same as nine. So three squared is the same as nine. Let's hop down to this one here. I have four to the power of five. So if I write that out in my expanded four, or sorry, expanded form, that means I have my base, which is four. How many times do I have that? Five times. So I have four times four times 4, times 4, times 4. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I have 4, 5 times. And if I times this all together, it should be 1,024, or 20, yeah, 1024. Okay? Now, the exact same thing can happen with my fractions as well. If we think about it, I have here, I have 3 fourths times 3 fourths. So what does that mean? Well, if I look at the pattern here, I have my base, which is 4. My base is 4. How many times do I have 4? I have 5 times. So over here, what's my base? Well, my base is actually 3 quarters. So I have a base, which is 3 quarters. And how many times do I have that base 3 quarters? I have it 1 time, 2 times. So it's 3 quarters squared. 3 quarters squared. Now that's the same as 3 quarters times 3 quarters, which is, of course, the same as... 9 over 16, 9 sixteenths. I just multiply the tops, 3 times 3 is 9, I multiply the bottoms, 4 times 4 is 16. And finally, uh, to keep this one short, I can do the last thing down here, 1.5. We know that 1.5 is the same as 3 halves. So I have 1.5 times 1.5, which is the same as 3 halves times 3 halves. 3 halves times 3 halves, of course, 9 times 9, or sorry, 3 times 3 is 9, 2 times 2 is 4, which is 9 fourths, which I can then simplify that to, I have 2 and 1 quarter. Okay? And if I want to write this in exponential form, I could change it to my 3 halves squared, or I could just read it 1.5 squared, just like that. All right? So I hope this helps a bit. And um, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.